1946, Hemlock High School fielded its first ever boys cross country team. That first year squad would go on to win the Class CD state championship, beating out neighboring Merrill. Hemlock's first cross country team, 1946, won the state championship. And the reason they started cross country is to get the basketball players in shape. Now let's fast forward to the late 1990s and early 2000s when the Huskies put together an incredible string of success. Led by head coach Bill Agresta and assistant coach Glenn Cunningham, Hemlock built a solid foundation by winning 56 cross country meets during a five year stretch from 1998 to 2002. We had a run of five consecutive years. We finished third in the state, third in the state, second in the state, and then two state championships. Including five Tri-Valley Conference titles, five Saginaw County Championships, and three regional crowns. The Hemlock Harriers finished third at the 1998 state championship meet, followed by a runner-up finish in 2000, losing to Williamston, a team they had defeated in the regional. The Huskies chalked up a 12-2 record in multi-team races in 2001 and crowned both county and conference championships. Hemlock then captured the Division III state championship at the Michigan International Speedway in Brooklyn, despite being ranked second behind Williamston coming into the finals. The years we won the state championships, we lost the regionals to Williamston. So that's, that's kind of unusual. He really told us, hey, I would much rather lose at the regional and win at the state meet. Led by junior Steve Simbor, who finished third overall, and Nick Pukash, who was seventh, Hemlock rolled to the title by finishing with 137 points. Menzies Central placed second and Charlevoix third. Craig Maddaleno was 34th, followed by Joe Frost in 40th and Rob Slate in 55th place. Other HHS runners included Andrew Henney in 85th and G.K. Drown in 150th. Joe Frost running on an injured shin was the only Husky runner to turn in a personal best. Cross, you know, cross country isn't exactly a, a, a gatherer of supporters. You know, you got your mothers and fathers and relatives. Uh, when we went to the state finals, we had quite a few backing, but nothing like if you went to the state championship in football or, or basketball. One year later, Hemlock was 11-2 in multi-team races while winning the conference and county meets. At the state meets, the Huskies were running on all cylinders again, capturing the state championship, thus becoming the first and only high school in Saginaw County history to win more than one cross-country state title. HHS had 90 first place points, followed by Williamston with 118 and Grand Rapids West Catholic with 115. The Huskies, who boasted six seniors and a sophomore, received personal best times from everyone in the lineup. Steve Simbor and Nick Pukash claimed second and third respectively. Simbor finished with a time of 15.38.05, narrowly missing the individual championship time of 15.35.85 by Williamston's David Bills. Simbor's time eclipsed the school record of 15.40 that was set by Kevin Sewell in the 1988 state finals. Nick Pukash, meanwhile, finished with a time of 1549.2, which placed him third all-time in school history. Joe Frost made the All-State team with his 20th place finish, and Madaleno notched 37th. Adam Byersdorf was 83rd, Henny was 115th, and Brent Drown, a sophomore, tied his personal best with a time of 1741. It was quite the time at Hemlock, uh, having Rudy as our, as our principal at the time, during that time. And uh, Rudy was a huge advocate for cross country. And I remember after, after we had won the state title, he treated us like kings that day. You know, they don't necessarily roll out the carpet for the cross country team that wins the state finals. You don't see any parades uh, going through town. He wanted to make it special. And so the basketball season, there was no bigger rival, rivalry that year than um, Hemlock versus Swan Valley in basketball. And both teams were very competitive that year. And so uh, he decided that the dedication or the raising of our banner was gonna be at the halftime of that, of that game. And so to make it special, he got, uh, um, I don't remember if it was a limo bus or whatever, but right after school that we were all in, he got us all tuxes you know, and we, and we went out to eat at Hereford and Hops in Bay City. And uh, he was there, Bill was there, and Glenn was there, and our families could come. 
and it was really cool. And then we all went to the game and we were um, sold out, sold out uh, gym. And then we were introduced and, and we rose to the banner that night, so. We had as many as 60 or 70 people out for, for cross country. I think like today's Hemlock cross country team, it'd be like 10, 10 girls and 10 boys where we had, uh, we had 60, 70 total. Bill didn't want any part of pitchers. It was about us. We were the ones that did, we were the ones that ran. We were the ones that had to cross the line to get the trophy. He didn't care about any of that. I think that I speak for both teams when I say that we want this more for Bill than ourselves. Um, because Bill is somebody that was last to take credit for anything. 